Hello everyone, in this session we are going to learn how we can use TOPSIS method to rank out our performance parameters that we are having. For example, in this case we have been given a set of hashback cards uh, for that we have been given the price, storage space, mileage and looks. So for these three columns, storage space, mileage and looks, out of 10 it has been rated. So first step about calculating the uh, normalized matrix, it would be calculated by using this formula. So for that we are over here in the first So over here as you can see xij would be the first one the price INR so it would be b6 so I have written b6 over here similarly it would be the summation of individual square and hold to the power uh, 0.5 or you can say that is the root so what I have done over here b6 square b6 square similarly b7 b8 b9 b10 square and hold to the power 0.5 or under root so in this way the normalized matrix is calculated so in order to calculate other normalized matrix what we can do the denominator would be fixed so what we can do we can fix out the denominator by just pressing f4 so we are just fixing it and once we are done with the fixing we can drag so that other values are calculated here you can see and, uh, for Tiago the normalized matrix is calculated similarly for all these three columns would be calculated as you can see in the formula for the mileage and the fashion for the looks so we are done with the step one so now the next step is all about calculating the weighted normalized matrix so the weighted normalized matrix would be xij that we have calculated earlier that is normalized matrix multiplied by the weights so the weights i have taken over here 0.25 for all the cases because we have used equal weight method so we can calculate the same what i am doing over here i am just writing xij so xij would be b13 and the weight would be what what weight having over here the weight is 0. at the column number b4 so i am just writing it over here I have used uh, dollar sign or F4 in order to fix out the weight. So we can calculate the normalized weighted for all these columns. So once we are done with, we can move for the next. So in this fashion, the second step done, the normalized weighted matrix is calculated. The third third step is all about calculating the ideal best and the ideal worst value. So the for price, the ideal best would be all because we want to have the lowest price so for that we can use the minimum function so the minimum function would be from this uh, row to this row for uh, price so in this way the minimum is calculated similarly the ideal worst for this would be the maximum cost so the maximum cost would be calculated by using the maximum function similarly for a store mileage and looks would be calculated but that thing would be different over here as previous one because uh, in the in case of a storage space we want to have the maximum of all the values so we have used the maximum function similarly mileage we would be using my maximum function similarly for the looks we would be using the maximum function and in worst criteria we would be using the minimum one in all these then we have to calculate the Euclidean distance from the ideal base so for that we can we would be using the formula Vij minus Vj plus so Vj plus would be all these and the Vij would be this one, this one so the formula would be B20 minus this one and plus since it is a summation so uh, with a with a whole square so we would be using the whole square plus with plus uh, these three columns and you can see I have fixed the value of uh, V plus Vj plus over from all these three that you can see B26 C26 and D26 and E26 so we just uh, when we just get out so the ideal best is v is calculated similarly SI minus would be calculated over here the ideal uh, the Euclidean distance from the ideal worst would be calculated so over here the Vj minus would be the V minus or the negative one uh, would be taken over here so in this fashion SI minus is calculated then the third step is all about calculating the performance score. based on that we would be rating our criteria so what we are having SI minus SI divided by SI plus plus SI minus so what would be doing we would be just putting down the formula equals to SI minus divided by we would be using bracket 
plus plus si minus and closing the bracket so in this way the performance score for the first column is calculated similarly for all the performance score would be now the next step would be the final step calculating the rank so rank would be calculated by using the rank function so i'm just using the rank function over here so as as you write rank function so it would be asking you to write down the number so the number would be first number and then it would be asking the order so the order would be the order would be of all these so it would be starting from h20 to h24 then the third step would be calculating the order so the order would be uh, descending for descending we have to go for zero so we would be selecting zero so in this fashion the rank is calculated so since the reference would be fixed so we need to fix it by pressing the f4 so we would be fixing it and once we are done the rank is calculated so in this way the rank for all the criteria is calculated so here shift has got the first rank and altos has got the fifth rank and in between all these all the other uh, cars are there so i would be providing the excel sheet for this so that you can have an overview of how we can use uh, the topsys method while you are applying the mcdm this mcdm criteria